Hello, and welcome to episode 58 of Life on Tap. I'm your host, Dan on Tap, here with you once again on our multimedia adventure here from now from the heart of NYC. Um, I First of all, before we get started with our beer the, uh, of the day, so to speak, I um, want to give a major shout out to, uh, the, to Tim and Ned over at For Whatever Reason. They had a very nice note on the show in there for whatever reason news segment. I wanted to thank them for that. And now, Tim and Ned, you can reach them over here at forwhateverreason.net. But I just want, also want to make a, a shout out in addition to um, my note that I sent out a couple weeks ago with regards to the status of my health and this is my recovery beard thus far. Uh, I also want to uh, tell you that in addition to Tim and Annette show for whatever reason, there's a lot of really excellent, excellent shows that are out there. So definitely, um, if you know, if you're also cruising through the iTunes library, if you want to see some of the stuff that I'm listening to, please, please, please check out my, my sidebar over there on lifeontap.net. I got some really excellent shows besides For Whatever Reason also out, also out there. You should go check all these shows out. Some of these shows have been around for like literally four years almost, which is kind of wild or whatnot, you know, within the realm of potosphere. But I really encourage you to go out there and check out this really excellent content, um, whether it's a beer-related beer related, uh, podcast or not a beer-related podcast. You'll be able to enjoy it all out there. And you can also enjoy some beers with Tim and Annette because they are also are definitely into the beer and also way into the food as well, which is great. So um, I hope you also enjoyed the Momofuku Co. A little recap that Cheryl and I did. Um, but moving onward, we're back on track with the Duck Rabbit beers. Today we're doing the Duck Rabbit Brown Ale. I'm anxious to try this. I'm a big fan of brown ales. It's a shame that Cheryl's not around at the moment either because she too is a massive fan of the brown ale. So, let's t take a look at this. Oh, yeah. That's an incredible color. Let it off, I let it off with a nice nice head right there. Considerable amount of carbonation still left in the still left in the bottle here. This is it's pretty it's pretty neat. Wow. Wow. Now, right off the bat, basically, you get a massive hop character off of this. It's, it basically comes up and spanks in your face. I'm getting like a little bit of like, um, like a a malty note, like a a malty almost biscuity note, but it's like kind of topped off with like this kind of weird like citrus like kind of thing, kind of like kind of reminds me of like like what sabre is, you know, that kind of almost like a chocolatey orangey kind of thing going on. But it's got it's got a really almost floral aroma on, on the back end too. Oh, thank you, Ginger. So, um, and uh, yeah, let's give this thing a shot. Wow, it's got a great mouthfeel. Um, it's definitely a bit more on the bitter side. For those of you who like the bitter brown nails out there, you're going to really love this one. It's got a nice strong back on it. You know, you're definitely going to get that there. Yeah, but it's definitely hoppy from start to finish, whether it's on your nose, whether it's on your palate. It's it's spanking you with those hops. And for those of you that are hop heads but don't you should gravitate to the brown nails because they might be a little more malty in character or whatnot, this is definitely a great beer for you to try. Um, like I said, it's got good mouth feel. It's got a good backbound to it. It's got great hop, hop, hop on this. Um, I was on the website before, and I remember they, them saying that they they use both Amarillo and Saz hops in this as well. And I think it's like a combination. I think it's like six or seven different malts in this. And I think that um, mouth feel is really good. It's not too heavy, um, you know, on the mouth feel, but it's definitely an enjoy definitely enjoyable brew. And so. I'm going to go off and enjoy this right now, but if you want to reach us, you can email us, lifeontap at lifeontap.net. You can check us out on the web at lifeontap.net, where you can also take a look at the sidebar, take a look at all those great podcasts and midcasts that I check out uh, on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Uh, and also, when you reach me out there on the Twitterverse, Skypeverse, NewType2001, Facebook com slash new type 2001 is where I'm at on over there uh, hopefully I'm um, gonna be starting up my semester next week so hopefully I'll try and keep the momentum up with some shows as much as I can so if I don't get them out there I do apologize but I'm gonna cross my fingers on this and hopefully I'll get that out there but just gotta remember one thing life's a tap drink up till it's dry <laughs> 